Hello doers, in the last video we saw how to use the email alias and the website form channels for automatic ticket creation. However, there's one more channel option we haven't seen yet. And what do we talk about? Live chat. Now why use live chat? Now with live chat, customers can get in touch with us immediately on their own terms. If they have a super busy day, they can chat with us while they multitask, in line, at the grocery store, or even on a Zoom call. We love using live chat at Stealthywood because we've been able to increase sales and conversions. We've also been able to decrease abandoned carts. And we've gained a competitive advantage over other furniture companies that don't offer it. Now, customers love having their questions answered immediately, and my team can hold their hand all the way through checkout. Plus, this allows my team to gain trust with customers and figure out what makes them tick. It's a win-win. So let's see how this works in Odoo. Now to begin, make sure you have the help desk, live chat, and the website apps installed. Then we'll go into the help desk app, navigate over to the configuration menu, and select help desk team. And once that they're selected, we're gonna be the selecting the customer care team, my superstars. We're gonna follow a couple steps here too. Now, once that we're in this form, we can actually edit the form and scroll down to the channel section. Now we want to make sure that the checks box next to uh, live chat is activated in order for the feature to work. And then once that you do that, you want to hit save to apply these changes. Now, once that's done, we can also click on the view channels link under the live chat checkbox. However, we can also access the live chat channels through the live chat app where on the main dashboard. So we're going to go back over to all our apps and select live chat. And once that this loads, on this page, we can configure the live chat channel. Odoo comes preloaded with a default website channel. And when we activated live chat on the customer care team form, it created a customer care channel just for us. So we're gonna select that actual channel. Now, live chat channel has a couple of configs that we gotta do, a little bit of configuration. So we're gonna select edit. And inside of this form, I can configure the settings for the live chat channel. The, the team member specified in the operators tab will receive a live chat notification in Odoo if a customer starts a chat on the website. I'm listed here already, so I'm gonna click add, and I'm gonna add another person. In our case, we're gonna select Audrey Peterson. Now both Audrey and I can take live chat requests as they come in. Now, if we select the options tab, by the way, I can also change the colors of my live chat button, and also the chat window as well. Wow, we can change a lot of things here. And this is just to match the Stealthywood website if we would like to. Let me select the first circle to change the button color. In our case, I'm gonna select this color and we're still gonna select this other one. And I'm gonna leave the second circle as is to keep the button color and the text uh, white. Now, once that I do the same for my chat channel header, we just repeat these first steps and we're gonna leave it the same. Now, once that we've finished doing all of this and our selections are made, we can actually finally now head on over to the channel rules tab. And next, we have these rules. Now, I wanna add a rule that tells the customer care channel to automatically pop up when a customer opens the help page of my website. In order to do that, I wanna click add a line and I wanna select the auto pop-up action. And in our case, we're gonna type a dash and then the word help desk, all one word for the URL regex. Now, I'm gonna leave the country field blank because I want this rule to apply no matter what country that customer is visiting from. Then once I'm done, we're gonna hit save and close just to save this. Now finally, there's the widget tab. So if we head on over inside of the widget tab, if you already have a website for your company through a third party, you can still take advantage of Odoo Live Chat by using this widget. Just copy and paste this code that we have right here and you'll have a fully functional live chat button and window that you can use on your own website. Alternatively, you can also just copy and paste this link that we see over here into any emails that your customers get sent. This will take them to a basic browser page with a button for them to chat with your operator. Now I've customized the channel settings quite a bit. So what do I always say? I always say, let's save, always save is to apply all these changes. Now let's see live chat in action and I can show you two special tools that will make fielding customer inquiries a breeze. So we're gonna swap back on over here. 
And follow me here. A customer logs onto their account on the Stealthywood website because they've got an issue with their order. They go to the help page where they can submit a ticket, but they see a live chat window pop up and figure, why not? Maybe I can get help right now. So we're actually going to type into this. We're going to say, hey, I need help. And let's see what happens. Now in the back end, I can see the chat box pop up. Now let me use my first special tool and responses to quickly reply to my customer. First, I type a colon, and then a menu pops up with some canned responses. I'll select my custom sorry canned response that I created before this video, and I'll substitute it with a full message. Now, once that we do that, let's say that they said, I'm not sure if I have a ticket open already, but they gave me their order number. I could use my second special tool commands to search through the existing help desk tickets in our database. I'll type a forward slash this time, and then I'm going to select help desk search from the menu, followed by my keyword, which is going to be their order number. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now, according to Odubot, there are no existing help desk tickets with that order number. They're also missing some screws from their chair order. Now to create a new ticket, I can type slash help desk, followed by what I want to mean, or what I want to name the ticket, sorry. In this case, missing screws, and I'm going to hit enter to create a new ticket. Now, Odubot says the ticket has been successfully created, and I can conveniently click on the ticket's name and take me to this form. So we're going to click on to that ticket name. Now, if we scroll down, we can see that the chat transcript in the descriptions tab is posted. I can chat with the customer further to get their name and email address and add that to the ticket form. In this case, we're just going to put random stuff in here. And then once that we're done typing, I can make sure it's set to the customer care team and assign the ticket to myself. And then once that I do that, I hit save. Because I always say, save. I can't emphasize that enough, oh doers. Now if I scroll down to the chatter, I can see Odoo has automatically sent the ticket acknowledgement email to my customer. Now either I or the customer can end the chat by clicking the X in the corner of the chat box. It's easy to use canned responses and commands to take care of the customer and create a new help desk ticket on the fly. And we can do it all through the live chat window. Now, in this video, we saw the ins and outs of Odoo Live Chat. This feature comes with some powerful tools, canned responses, and commands. And those can help us take care of questions quickly and efficiently. Now, you be sure to check out the help desk documentation for a full list of commands, as well as how to create and edit your own canned responses. And thank you for watching. You have a wonderful night.